All right, everybody, as promised in today's live stream, I wanted to go over how to modify a character picker using the control rig setup for the metahumans as our baseline and basically being able to, to modify it. So today when we tried to do that in the live stream, for some reason it went uh, sideways like they always do. So let's give this another shot. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hop right into Unreal and uh, we just have our scene set up. Once again, to quick recap, how do we get the character picker as a starting point? In our content browser, if we go to add, we can choose Quixel content. And then from there, we choose a metahuman. Take your pick of which one you want. It does not matter. And then after you download it, install it to your project. When you do that, you are going to get a metahuman folder. In the metahuman folder, as you can see down here, there is each of the characters and then there's a common character and underneath the common common directory there's a utilities if we right click we run this utility widget this is the one that when we set our prefix we can just pick all the different all the different aspects of it so this is the character picker for a quick recap that we are going to be updating for those of you that are watching this as a standalone video now what we're going to do is we're going to modify that and we're going to modify it so that we can add a select all button. So yes, there's animation, but also there's a little bit of UI learning in Unreal Engine. Probably the easiest thing to do is to pick a button that you like. And for example, you can see this is a square. It is colored by this blue section over here on the right. If I wanted to make a nice square, select all button or a round one, whatever it is, depending on what I want to do, probably the easiest thing to do is to pick one of these and duplicate it. So if I just pick this neck and I duplicate it over here, duplicate, it creates neck control, etc. We're going to change this to be select all. All right. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to position this, maybe something just over the top of our character using the position of X. I'm also going to make this a little bit thinner and a little bit wider in X. And then let's move it down slightly so it's not stuck up against the border. So that just positions our button. It's going to go ahead and change the color so it's a little bit more obvious that this is select all. And there you have it. We've created a new button in the MetaHuman character picker. Now this is where the blueprint part, thankfully visual, gets to be fun. So when we look at our graph editor, or our, not our graph editor, I'm still in animation mode from doing the animation setup today. When we look at our blueprint graph, you'll see a whole lot of stuff that looks kind of scary. I want to assure you this is not scary. This is very simple. Each of the buttons on our designer is actually connected to something that is called an on click event. So right now, this is the thumb control. The thumb control has an on click event. When I click on it, you'll notice it zooms in on it over here. And fortunately, all this stuff is super well labeled over here. Basically, this is an event that when the button gets clicked on click, it will do the thing. And the thing is to select the control in this case. So all we need to do is create our own select control based on the button that we just added. Now, what we tried to do earlier today was we try to take all of these arrays that had been created already and use those for our select all. We're going to redo that right now. And the easiest thing to do is we created our select all button. If you pick it, let's see where it is in our Sometimes the easiest thing is to go back to your designer and just click it again. And then when you go back to your graph, it'll be selected for you. So in order to add the on clicked event, all we do is select our select all button. We click the plus button next to on clicked and it will create it for us. So this is ready to go. Let's move this up here. Now I'm actually going to probably move. We'll do this up top here for now. But what I want to do, uh, actually, no, I'm going to do it down here. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to take all of these buttons 
and add them to the list so that I can call select all. However, what I, I'm going to copy select all and paste it down here. Eventually, this is what we're going to do. We just need an array of all controls. So let's right click on that, promote that to a variable. That is going to be our all controls array. Now, if you don't know what an array is, uh, you'll probably be able to ascertain what you need from this video, but there is a whole series on arrays that are available to you. It's basically just uh, a bunch of a bunch of different values stored together. So it is a list of objects, if you will. So we have our all controls we're going to select, but right now it has nothing in it. So what we need to do is we need to set all controls. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set all controls to be, let's pick which one we're going to start with. Let's start with the left arm. I'm going to take this and I'm going to set all controls. So right now, if we were to test our button, it should select the left arm. In fact, let's go ahead and do that just to make sure this works okay. Let's compile and save this. And then on our anim stage, when we right click and we choose run editor utility widget, just for clear clarity, I have my right arm selected. I'm going to set my all and we're going to click on our select all. When we do that, you noticed this time, probably because we're not live, uh, it selects the left arm no problem. So this is working and what we need to do is we just need to connect the rest of our buttons, which is fairly easy because what we can do is we can take our all array and we can do something called append. What that means is add, add a bunch of stuff to this. So I am going to, we just did the left hand. We can actually disconnect this and move this over because we have quite a few of these. So we did the left hand. Let's go ahead and do, I'm going to take this. Actually, I'm just going to take this and paste it a couple times because we're going to have a few of these to do and you'll be able to get the idea. So we have our left hand, let's go ahead and do our right hand, and then let's go ahead and do, this looks like our head control, so this is our entire core of our character. We have our left fingers, and for now, let's call that enough. You should hopefully understand the general idea. What we'll do is we'll connect all of these up, we will compile, we will save. Oh, I didn't connect in. Somehow I connected in the wrong thing. Hold on. So let's go to here. Okay. And then we're going to append this. Oops. There we go. Let's try that again. Compile. Oh, interesting. Uh, I'm just double checking the order of this may actually be important. So you can see what I did is I, I actually flipped these. The If you mouse over this, this is the array to add the source array to, and then this is the source array. So this it's important that the one that we're making bigger as we go is the first one in the list. So I'm just going to control drag to move this down, control drag to move this down, and then we'll make sure that the one that we're increasing is our all controls. Let's compile and save that. And then go ahead and test it and we should be able to see that our select all is, oh, I forgot to set my character. Select all, picks all of the controls that we have gone through so far. You'll notice that our feet are missing. That is simply because in the, all of the controls that we've gotten, over here on the right, we haven't gotten any of our FK uh, or IK feet controls. And I do not, we should not need, I don't think we need any of this as far as our toes and stuff from a select all standpoint, but overall you can customize this however you like. You can add more buttons, etc. It's pretty straightforward to set up your own custom character picker. Uh, and also feel free, you can also move these around uh, you can create duplicates of this just in case you're worried about it and you can run more than one at the same time so or you can run that way you can have more than one copy and maybe different copies for different characters whatever it is you you would like to or however you'd like to approach that so 
hopefully this covers the one thing that went sideways during today's stream. As always, thanks for checking out the video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget, check out the live section. A lot of our tutorials are in live. This is pre-recorded. Check the live section, Patreon, all those things down in uh, the links down below. As always, leave some feedback. Thanks for checking it out. See you on the next one.